Good morning, viewers all over the world. We welcome you in the name of Jesus Christ. We are here in our humble studio with my brothers. My name is Brother Philemon. Viewers all over the world, we thank you and we thank God for this wonderful morning. This is your brother, Brother Paul. Viewers all over the world, we honor the presence of God in this place. And you honor your time. Thank you that you will be connected. We greet you in the mighty powerful name of Jesus Christ. Remain connected and share the good news of Jesus Christ. It's your brother Samuel. Good morning, viewers. We greet you in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. We thank you for your presence, for you being connected. We greet you in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ once again. This is your brother, Evangel Zachariah. Amen. Viewers all over the world, I want you to I want to welcome you again in the presence of the Holy Spirit. As we are in our studio today, we want to share with you the good news of our Lord Jesus Christ. Keep connected and keep sharing the good news. As we are going to start with our live streaming service today. Let's all be concentrating in the word of God for today, what the Lord has prepared for us. Thank you, Lord. Today we are going to talk about uh, keep praying and believing. Our title for today, keep praying and believing. How do we understand that title before we go to the scripture let us open our service with a prayer father in the name of jesus christ we are here before the throne of grace to obtain mercy in the eyes of god father we bow down before you we are here to ask for forgiveness yes. father i pray that forgive all our sins as we forgive those who sin against us yes, lord. lord do not lead us into temptations Amen. but deliver us from evil spirit father you are the alpha and omega yes. you are the king of king without you we are speechless father without you we can't do anything father let us disappear and you appear let your presence come down father let your holy spirit use us to glorify your name yes. lord let us speak whatever you say it shall be done today. Yes. Lord Jesus Christ, we are here to honor your name. We are, we are here to glorify your name. Father, you are the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Lord, you are still the same as you have been. The Bible says we should trust in you for whatever we ask in prayers, we shall receive it. Father, I believe and I have hope and I trust you that whatever we are going to ask and whatever we are going to to, to ask from the Holy Spirit, Lord, it shall be done. Father, let your name be glorified. Let your name be lifted high. In the mighty, powerful name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus Christ. Amen. In Jesus Christ's mighty name, we pray. Amen. 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 Thank you, Holy Spirit. Viewers all over the world, I greet you again in the name of Jesus Christ. I hope you are sharing the good news. Our title for today, it says, Keep Praying and Believe. Why are we saying keep praying and believe? This comes because the Bible says, the way you can only speak to your Father who is in heaven is when you are praying. The Bible says in the book of John chapter 3 verse 16 that for so God loved the world he gave his only begotten son for whoever believes in him will be saved but will never be perished. Only if you believe in him. Let's read the scripture. 
in the book of Ephesians chapter 1 verse 17 to 19 I hope you are there you are all over the world it's under the title prayer for spiritual wisdom that the God of our Lord Jesus Christ the father of glory may give you the spirit of wisdom and liberation in the knowledge of him verse 18 the eyes of your understanding being being enlightened that you may know what is hope of his calling what are the riches of the glory of his inheritance in the saints hallelujah verse 19 and what is the exceeding greatness of his power towards who believe according to the work, working of his mighty power hallelujah we thank God. The Bible is telling us that if we believe in his word, whatsoever we ask in prayers, we will receive it. As you are a Christian today, how do you understand or how do you communicate with God? Do you pray without believing or do you believe without praying? A prayer has to come first, then you believe. You believe that whatever I ask in prayers, it shall be done. What you have to do is to, to take our focus on the thing, seen things and put it to the unseen things. I'm saying this simply because God is a spirit. And for you to know that yes, what I have prayed for, it shall be done. You have to keep your focus on the things that are unseen. To believe in things that you cannot see but you have prayed for it you, and you believe that it, it shall be done. Amen. If you keep your focus on the things that you see, it will distract your faith. Because what you are going through, the troubles that you are going through, the predicaments that you are going through today, they are temporary. As long as you believe in the word of God. The Bible says, whatsoever you ask in prayers, you will receive it. As long as you believe and you have faith that it shall be done. Today we want to explain more uh, or to encourage you more about praying and believing. Sometimes we do pray, but we, we feel like our prayers are not being answered. Because of what you are going through. Yes. But if you believe... That whatever I ask, whatever I prayed for, God is our way. Then we will overcome everything that you are going through. Things that you are seeing or things that you are going through, they are temporary. No matter how difficult it is, what you have to, where you have to keep your focus is to God. And as you are the chosen ones, God did not choose you to be scared or to be demolished by what you are going through. But he gave us the spirit of boldness to overcome all our temptations. As long as we believe in his word. If we read in the Bible the uh, verse 
verse 18, it says, The eyes of your understanding being enlightened. The eyes of your understanding being enlightened. By what? What is that that is enlightening the eyes of our understanding? It's the word of God. How? How it will enlighten our eyes of our understanding? By believing. Believing what? Believing the word of God. If you believe the word of God, God is, is, is assuring you that he is enlightening the eyes of our understanding. Let's read again verse 18. The reason why he wants to enlighten the eyes of our understanding. It says that you may know what is the hope of his calling. Do we have Christian born again today that doesn't understand or doesn't know the hope of his calling? Why God have chosen you? Why are you there today? Why do, do you have to pray? Why do you have to believe that God is the same yesterday, today, and forevermore? Why do you have to believe that God is in this corner? You cannot come at this corner, yet you did not believe that Christ is in here. Yes. What are you looking for? Amen. If you come here and you did not believe that God, I am going to pray at this corner. When you are coming here, you are not coming to please someone, or you are not coming to an apostle. You are coming to pray for God to answer your needs. Yes. And the moment you make a decision or you are watching us right now, you are not watching us because you just want to entertain yourself or because you know someone who is here today. Yes. You are watching because you believe that God is there. As long as I listen to what they are saying, Amen. I believe God will solve my problems. Yes. And as long as I am praying together with them, I believe God is aware. Yes. And his will will be done into my life. Amen. You cannot keep on coming at church at this point. But you are still, your life is still the same. Unless there is something that you, you need to do before God answers your prayers or whatsoever you are looking for. Yes. As long as we fulfill the scripture that do not give false testimonies we will receive everything that you are asking in prayers when we are here in church sometimes we are looking for merit we are looking for jobs your study is not going well when you are coming home to come and pray here it's not because you believe in apostle or you believe in this building that if you go there maybe there is some magic no your belief has to do or has to work hand in hand with a prayer Amen. a prayer that is making sense to God. Yes. Because the Bible says before God there was, there was no other God and there will be no other God. Who are you praying and your prayers are not being answered? Are you praying with the word of, with the word of God? Are you praying being led by the Holy Spirit? Or how do you pray? Some of Christians today, because we are in a very difficult time, some of them, they gave up. Some of them, they left the church, confessing that, no, that church is not good. Did you come at a good church, or you come at a church where there is God? Yes. And when you come here, what revelation did you get? 
and believe in it. That is from God. Yes. Or did you pray for a, a, a revelation that you get that no, you have to fellowship at this coin? Did you believe? Uh, did you pray and believe for your uh, revelation that yes, it's from God? Or you just come because you have seen someone coming and you have heard that uh, when he came here or she came here, she bought a new house or a new car. A new car. <laughs> Believing in miracles, but you did not believe in the word of God. How is that possible? And yet, you are calling yourself a Christian. A Christian does not believe in the things of this world. Amen. But a Christian believes in the word of God. That the word of God is God himself. Yes. And it says whatever he says it shall be done. Yes. And it's the same today, tomorrow, and forevermore. Yes. And it will never change. The earth will end, but his word, his words will remain the same. Viewers all over the world, I hope you are focusing. I want us to read again verse 19 so that you know the fruits of you praying and believing in the word of God. What is that you, you are expecting? when you believe in the word of God and pray, and pray without ceasing. Let's read verse 19. And what is the exceeding greatness of his power towards us who believe according to the working of his mighty power? The scripture is clear. It's telling us, uh, assuring us that if you believe, only if you believe, his great power, his greater power will manifest in your life. Amen. Today, we are going through hardship. I remember when Moses was with Egyptians, when the Lord's anger came upon the lives of Egyptians, he told Moses, I will bring great illness to these people so that they will die. But Moses said, because of the love that he had, because he believed that if you pray and ask for forgiveness and you humble yourself, that Lord, may you please forgive us our sins. He asked the Lord to forgive the Egyptians. That Lord have mercy on them. And the Lord heard what Moses prayed for. Because he prayed, believing, and with faith. That if he asks for the Lord's mercy, it shall be done because he believes in him. Let, let's again um, read the first verse, verse 17. It says that the God of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of glory, may give you the spirit of wisdom, revelation in the knowledge of him. It's, it's telling us about knowledge. Knowledge about him. How will you know him? Or will you know God without believing that he, he does exist? Everything that has to do with the kingdom of heaven, you have to believe first for you to reap, or I mean to harvest things of the kingdom of heaven. The moment you believe, that's why the Bible is telling us, if you just believe that God is the God of heavens and earth, and you ask everything whatsoever you ask in prayers. In, book, in the book of John chapter 15, verse 7. It shall be done. Thank you, Jesus Christ. Amen.
I hope you are connected. Remain blessed. May God bless his word. Amen. Thank Amen. you, Lord. Amen. I bless you. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Viewers all over the world, we believe that you are still with us. We thank God for the grace of our brother and the good news that he has said. Well, um, before I start, I want to honor and to give honor, where honor is due, to our Father in the Lord, Apostle S.S. Shombe. It's by his obedience for us to be here this wonderful morning. We love you, our Father in the Lord. We believe that wherever you are, you are connected with us. We say that long live. And we pray for God to bless you with more health in Jesus' name. Yes, we are talking about keep praying and believing. But before I go further with this, I want you to check yourself. And tell yourself that check yourself. You need to check yourself. You need to check your heart. Before you continue with prayer. Prayer is, has to do with a relationship with Jesus Christ. Prayer is something that connects us. It's a transport. Prayer is the one that carry network for us to talk and communicate with God. Yes. But our heart I, I have done my own is a source. It's, it's where everything has to start. I want you to check your heart. Because you cannot keep on praying and believing. I can't tell you that keep on praying and believing for a certain situation while your heart is not in line with the word of God. While your heart is not in line with what the Bible says. The grace of God is sufficient for us. Yes, it's true. But if you know yourself that your heart is not in line with the word of God, your heart is not in line with your neighbor, the grace of God, you are taking it for the granted. Yes. Even Jesus himself, he gave us a great commandment, which is love. To love your neighbor as you love yourself. But you need to start loving yourself. If you don't love yourself, you cannot love your neighbor. I want to give an example of some said you can't love yourself. It is a sin to say you love yourself. No. Listen, if you look to those that are smoking, if you look on the package of cigarette, it's a right hand that is danger to your health. But still a smoker is just consuming. You don't love yourself. You are coming to church, you are coming to Jesus Christ to meet him face to face, praying and hoping that he will make it all possible for you. But still, you don't love yourself. We are in lockdown. But I love to tell everyone that lockdown does not mean that we are in shutdown. Jesus Christ is still with us. The Holy Spirit is still with us. God's hand is still busy looking and searching for those that are on their knees. Keep on praying and believing that one day everything will be well. Amen. This is to tell you that this time where we are in lockdown, it's the testing of our faith as Christians. And everything that is happening, God knows when is the last day. Just keep on praying and believing that one day will be one day. I have started telling you that if you do not check your heart very well, and you keep on praying, you are wasting your time. If I am here praying, Coming always, running to the mountain of prayer. Crying out, quoting scriptures. 
But my heart is full of grudges. My heart is full of anger. My heart is full of many things. Belief will not be with me. Because if you look to the Bible, in the book of Romans, chapter 10, the Bible says that a confession starts with our mouth, but believing is the things of the heart. Confession is made into salvation, but believing is made into faithfulness. Let's read in the book of Mark. Mark chapter 11 from verse 22. Mark chapter 11 from 20, chapter, I mean verse 22. And Jesus answered, said unto them, Have faith in God. For verily I say unto you, Whatsoever shall you say unto this mountain, Be thou removed, and be thou cast into the sea, And shall not doubt in his heart, But shall believe that those things which he says shall come to pass, He shall have whatsoever he says. Here the Bible is telling us, First, you have to have faith in God. Starting prayer, you don't just wake up and you already start praying, shooting fires, sending back to sender, but you didn't check yourself. You need to check yourself. If you have faith in God, and whatever you ask, from him and you believe it will be done if we have faith in God that lockdown will come to end then we will stop complaining if we have faith in God that one day I will meet my parents then you should stop complaining. If you have faith in God that one day I'm receiving my healing, stop worried. We continue to verse 24. Therefore I say unto you, what things soever you desire when you pray, believe that you receive them and you shall have them. This is the word of Jesus Christ. He said that, therefore, I say unto you, what things soever you desire, whatever your heart desire, God will give it to you. That's why the Bible says that in, in the book of Peace, it says that seek your happiness in God. And he will give you your heart desire. If your heart is struggling, struggling to have faith in God, forget about belief. He said that whatever you ask and whatever you desire, so long as you have to believe. Believe is not the things of the mouth. Believe is not the things of speaking words, but believing has to do with your heart. We continue to verse 25. And when you stand praying, forgive. If you have thought against any or that your father also which is in heaven may forgive you your trespasses. You need to forgive. Before you do any other things, you have to check yourself. I believe viewers, wherever you're watching us from, I believe also in your country, in your nation, the youth, they are not happy. 
of what is happening in every nation. But we just need to pray and forgive and believe that one day job opportunity will rise up in our country. That one day the government will acknowledge and respect the house of God. Believing that one day the government will accept and bring back the Bible in school. Amen. Just keep on praying and believing. Yes. We continue to verse 26. But if you do not forgive, neither will your Father, which is in heaven, forgive your trespasses. If you do not forgive, God the creator, he will not forgive you. Forgiveness is something that stops us from meeting God face to face. That spirit of unforgiveness. Jesus Christ, when he was on the cross, he said that, Father, forgive them, for they do not know what they are doing. I'm here to tell you, the youth, ask God to forgive our leaders. Ask God to forgive your president, your ministers. Ask God to forgive because they don't know what they are doing. Amen. And we should keep on praying and believing that one day everything will come to an end. Amen. I'm here to tell you, the youth, that for us to be in this situation, God does not only want us to stop alcohol, but he wants us to check ourselves. He wants us to draw near to him, and he draw near to us. For the Bible says in the book of James, that if you draw near to me, I myself, God, I will draw near to you. Some they are there complaining. Why the government has to give us sanitizers? Not just allowing us to drink alcohol because alcohol is also contained. The same alcohol that is in the sanitizers. You don't love yourself. I'm here to tell you the youth that your prayer that you've been praying they are still in the book of God. That he said in the book of Malachi chapter, chapter 3. Let's, let's read it. The book of Malachi chapter 3. It's the last book of the Old Testament. Malachi chapter 3. Let's look to verse 16. The book of Malachi. It says as, then, they, then they that fear the Lord spoke often to one another and the Lord heard them and a book of remembrance was written before him for them that fear the Lord and that thought unto his name. Whatever you are speaking, whatever you are saying, whatever you are talking about, whatever you are complaining, the book of remembrance is taking record. Yes. You don't need to complain to a man, but complain to God. Talk to him. When you are giving a petition to God, Give a petition that is of love. Give a petition that is of forgiveness. When you are talking about what is happening, just know that the book of remembrance, in the book of Marakai, chapter 3, verse 16, the last book of the Old Testament, I'm, we are here today. I'm here with my brothers. 
to tell you the mind of God. Let your faith not be discouraged during this time. But I tell you today that fight your battle on your knees. There is nothing impossible with God. Everyone is going through a lot. Everyone is going through his own challenges. Everyone is facing his own man mountain, his own giant. This is the time to stop talking about your giant and keep on talking about the love of God. This is the time for you to always confess it that God is good. Amen. Indeed. I know that some of you, you already give up on your faith. But we pray that your faith will never fail. Yes, Lord. Some of you have been praying and thinking that God is not doing anything. Keep on praying and believing. Amen. If we look to the story of Prophet Eria, he cried unto God that, Lord, this nation, they killed all the prophets, but it was only me who was left. Suddenly, God answered. He said, fear not. I have chosen myself and I put them aside. Lot of prophets, lot of pastors, apostles, evangelists, teachers. Keep on praying and believing that God is at, at work. Some of you, you are there Telling yourself the end of the world is now. I was about to get married. But Lord, look now. What if I get married today and tomorrow Jesus is here? That is not your business. Just do what you are called to do. Some of you, you are complaining. I'm just facing my graduation. And here, Lord. Maybe Jesus is about to come. Check yourself. The same fear that you have for graduation and have that fear maybe Jesus will come. You should have that same fear that maybe Jesus will come and I did not give my life to Christ. Just pray and believe whatever God will give you. Amen. Some of you, you are there. Telling yourself. I was having business deals that are supposed to, to, to fly to Dubai. But now here Lord. Here comes the lockdown. What is going on? Whatever you have. Whatever you possess. Whatever is in your way. Which is good. Is not yours. But is of God. Just keep on praying. Some of you you are there. Telling yourself. God have called me into ministry. But here comes the lockdown. When am I going to start my church? Start where you are. Start your ministry on your knees. Keep on praying. And believing that what, what God called you for, surely he will bring it to pass. Amen. If it's his will, let his will to be done. If we look to the story of Jesus Christ. He spent 30 years in the training. And within three years, Jesus had turned the world upside down. He was praying. But when he was in the garden of Gethsemane, he never even thought that next week I should prepare myself out there on the cross. No. No. But he said it that night that the hour has come. The hour has come. But because he believed that it was not his will but the will of the Father, even though fear came upon him, 
the Holy Spirit remind him that it's not your will, but the will of God. Viewers, I believe you are still with us. And I just want to tell you that if you are facing a retirement and you are there thinking maybe how will I use my money? Maybe the end of the world is at hand. Just pray. And believe whatever God will give you. Hallelujah. Amen. My last word I want us to look in the book of Philippians chapter 4. In the book of Philippians chapter 4. Philippians chapter 4 verse 6 to 7. Philippians chapter 4 verse 6 to 7. The Bible says, Be careful for nothing, but in everything by prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving, let your request be made known unto God. And the peace of God, which pass all understanding, shall keep your hearts and minds through Christ Jesus. Hallelujah. This is my last word viewers all over the world. To tell you that worry about nothing. For us to be on live stream, it's for the will of God and it's for the glory of God. Because even if you are in prison, the Bible says the word of God is not in prison. Even if you are in a cage, the Bible says the word of God is not in the cage. What is that can separate you and me from the love of God? Is it the fear of COVID-19? Is it the gathering limit? Is it the retrenchment that you are facing? What is that? Nothing can separate us from the love of God. I pray that may the Lord bless his word. In Jesus' name. Amen. You are blessed.